Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay. The flight duration will be less than 10 minutes and today we will fly through what is English language proficiency certificate? Why do we need this and how do we get it? So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off. Having a ELP also called English language proficiency certificate is mandatory for getting CPL and ATPL licenses. One may feel since he or she has passed the RTR exam so he or she is familiar with aeronautical radio communication so why another certificate for english proficiency well we need to get into little bit of history of commercial aviation in 1951 the international civil aviation organization also called icao recommended english to be universally used for international aeronautical radio telephony communication and it was widely accepted English is de facto international language of civil aviation. Miscommunication or lack of communication in English has been a key factor in many aviation accidents. Examples include the 1977 Tenerife Airport accident which left 583 passengers dead. The 1990 crash of Avianca flight 52 73 dead and the famous 1996 Chakri Dadri mid air collision which left 349 passengers dead miscommunication was a key factor leading to to these disasters in aviation history in 2003 icao recommended aviation professionals involved in international operations to demonstrate a defined level of english language proficiency in the context of aeronautical communication ICAO requires that this level of proficiency is to be demonstrated by means of a formal assessment and that the results of this assessment are to be recorded as an endorsement on the professional licenses of pilots and controllers and by now you know it well that DGCA follows ICAO regulations so to summarize ELP training and certification has been formalized by aviation regulatory authorities so as to ensure aviation safety by ruling out any misinterpretation or miscommunication in radio telephony by ensuring training and testing in aviation english language elp test is aimed at testing one's ability to speak and understand english in an aviation environment reading english is not required this include how well one can efficiently communicate both face to face as well as over the radio you will be tested for comprehension communication and radio communication during the test the examiner evaluates the applicant based on the following areas that is pronunciation structure vocabulary fluency comprehension and interaction each category is graded on scale between 1 to 6 1 one is the lowest and 6 being the highest also called proficient the lowest score in any of these determines your final score For example, an applicant has scored four for every category and three in comprehension, then his final score will be three. The international standard to be a English proficient is level four or higher. Level four has a validity of three years. Level five has a validity of five years, and ELP level six is considered to be an expert level and it is valid for lifetime. So, for licensing, you need a minimum score of four in ELP. Before 2019 one could directly appear for ELP test by DGC approved examiner and could get ELP certificate but since 2019 as per DGC circular one cannot just appear directly for the ELP test it is mandatory to undergo formalized online or offline training from a DGC approved ELP center before being tested by an approved examiner as on September 2022 following training and testing centers are approved by DGCA for imparting training testing and issue of ELP certificate indicating your level of proficiency the cost of training would be approximately 30 to 40000 rupees whereas the cost of testing will be approximately 10 to 20000 rupees depending on the training center where you undergo training and licensing as per me someone who has passed rtr practical exam comfortably 
and who is well versed with terminology and radio procedures of aviation should be able to go through this training and testing smoothly hope this video helped you in understanding what why and how for a elp certificate with this we have arrived at our destination hope to see you on board soon for the next flight like share and subscribe if you wish happy landings